Hey, welcome back to Will's Way Garage. Paint has gone down really well. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I want to take the body out and, and show you all uh, how that worked out for me for a home paint job. In the meantime, I do have a portion of the car um, painted and ready to go. I have a little bit of orange peel in a few areas and decided to try a few of the internet tips on how to get rid of orange peel. I tried one already, which is a denim pad. Uh, that seems to work pretty well on very, very light, um, very light orange peel. Uh, using a compound, it's a 105, you can see a fast cutting compound on a denim pad. Second suggestion, the old school suggestion, has been to use um, some wet sanding, 2000 grit or 1500 grit sandpaper. I already know from uh, a messed up clear coat job, um, round one I guess of painting the car, that uh, I wet sanded with 800, which does get rid of orange peel, um, but it also leaves a really hazy finish you have to do a lot of work on, uh, I'm assuming. So I don't want to go through that process again just for the little bit of orange peel that I have. So I'm trying to do, I guess, uh, less invasive uh, ways to kind of clean up the paint job and give it that, that wet shine that it currently has from the clear coat. All right, here we go. This is 2000 grit, wet sanded with some soap and water. You can see the original at one end here. We still got that, that clear look to it. The orange peel is hiding in there. And the way you can see it is, this is very light sanding before I've actually sanded out the orange peel. You actually see all the ripples in there because very top layer sanded. And then it doesn't take very much. You know, this is really light pressure, probably for about 30 seconds, maybe not even that. You can see there's, it's all hazy, but there's no orange peel. I can see just a little bit towards the end there. See that right there? So once that's all buffed down, I actually might not even sand any more of this. Now what I'm gonna work on is what compounds with my fancy little three inch DA sander, what combination of compounds now are gonna get me back to a polished finish so for this pass, I'm actually gonna start with the cutting compound, and then I have a polishing compound that's gonna go on after that. I'm curious to know how much shine I get back just from the cutting compound, taking out any of the scratches that were left behind by the 2000 grit. See if we can get a polish back on there. All right, so showing you the finish, this is just after a uh, very short time with the uh, cutting compound and a denim pad. I just wanted to see how much of that shine I would get back again. So the one big thing you can see, and you can see it in the light there, almost all of that orange peel is gone. We've got some really nice straight lines in the reflection. And what I'm looking for is at the top here. What I left behind for you was, uh, sorry, what I left behind was you can see where I've sanded a little bit to show the difference. So that area is where where there's a little sanding left. That's original, a little sanding, and as you move across here, you can see all the orange peels gone. And I'm looking for these nice straight lines in the, sh in the reflection here. So as you can see, looking back, almost all the shine is back in that panel. Man, you can really see it there. All that orange peel along that line, and all of a sudden it's gone at this end. So I'm really happy with it. But what I will say, and I don't know if the camera can show it really well, is most of the finish looks even. But I can see in the sunlight a very, very faint area. I'll take a look in post-production when I get the video together. There's very light scuffing still from the sandpaper. There you go. I can see it there in the camera. Very light scuffing you can see there. So that doesn't show up unless you're standing really close to it and it's in direct sunlight. So what we're gonna do next is I have a finishing compound. I'm gonna play with two different pads here. There's this soft foam pad. And then I've also got 
little baby wall pad. So I'm not sure which of these two is going to work best, but if I can get that out, I think we've found ourselves a good mix of products. So I'm going to give this, this guy a try, and we'll see how it turns out. What I figured out uh, going through this, we started with 2000 grit, wet sanded with some soapy water. That really got us down to a flat finish. And you can see there's still some haze left from when we did that. So that's this area here. That's just sanding all by itself. You can see where we've done nothing and you've still got plenty of that um, orange peel texture that's going on. And we move over to where it's been polished I really don't have a lot of that texture at all. Really sharp lines in the shadows there. You can see all the reflections, looks fabulous. The way I got to that was, it ended up being to get the sanding scratches out from 2000 grit. It was our cutting compound. And I paired that with, where'd that guy go? There it is. Paired that with a black, sponge pad I think I have a slightly heavier one as well and just to give you some timing I was doing this in 30 to 60 second spurts it would be so about um, at most 60 seconds with this particular pad wiped it off and what that did for me was it took out all of the sanding scratches and left behind just in bright sunlight you could see the swirls from the cutting compound. So, the last step that I did just to take out the very, very minor swirls, and I'm telling you, you have to look to be able to find them, but I wanted to see how close to perfect we could get. So then we took this finishing polish, and the finishing polish was applied to a wool pad, a um, little bit of a janky wool pad that they give you with this particular one stock, so I might order a couple of slightly nicer, slightly nicer ones. But that, for another minute to two minutes, with the polishing uh, compound, that got us to, to that finish. You can see really, really shiny. With that being said, my plan, the body of the car, I've got a few areas that um, aren't quite as bad as what I'm showing you on here. I kind of picked this piece because I could mess it up if I wanted to and repaint it. Also because uh, I knew there were some areas on here that are, are pretty rough, so we worked on some of those. So I would say if it's heavy orange peel, 2000 grit wet sanding seemed to do the trick. No more than maybe a minute of that. Maybe a minute or so with the black, uh, the, the um, black foam pad and a cutting compound. And then the polish was with the wool pad. I did try the polish with the uh, with the foam pad first and it just wasn't doing anything. So for some reason, the wool pad's the way to go. Um, did that polish with that and uh, I think I've got myself a really shiny finish. I am sure that it will get even nicer if I added wax. Uh, everything I read tells me that I need to give my clear coat a few months to breathe, dry out, um, gas off whatever they call it so there's no plan to put wax on just yet but I imagine that once I put wax on there you would never know that it was sanded that was kind of what we were going for so um, that's the way I did it I uh, hope that helps someone out uh, painting their own car and uh, thanks for watching